What's up guys, CDLA, and we're all about trucking. We talk about beverage delivery and how you can get in and how you can, you know, the best way to start with no experience. I have some news for you today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. Ryder bought 1,000 autonomous semi-trucks. They bought 1,000 autonomous semi-trucks. Now, there's five classes of autonomy when it comes to truck driving. So, number one is driver assistance. It, that supports the driver but does not take control. Number two is partly automated driving. Um, the vehicle can take control but the, the driver remains responsible. The third one is highly automated driving. It means uh, it's a, the, the vehicle takes over at certain periods of time. Uh, the driver can disengage from uh, driving for an extended period of time. So, so the vehicle can take over, but the driver can disengage and just sit back for an extended period of time. That's three. Four, we have the fully automated driving truck. That means the, uh, the vehicle drives independently most of the time but driver must remain able to drive but guess what the driver can take a nap and number five full automation the vehicle um, assumes all driving tasks and the people inside the vehicle are just passengers so rider um, purchased 1000 level 4 uh, autonomous semi trucks so let's go over level four again that's a vehicle that drives independently most of the time but driver must remain able to drive now what does this mean I, I just I've been working for Ryder I'm on my fifth week now and uh, what does that mean for me I don't know what do you guys think that mean for you because this is starting to expand it's not just gonna be Ryder I'm sure you know as time goes on this is going to extend to um, other truck driving companies as well um, so it says that uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right it's spelled I-K-E Ike says the hands-off model the trucks that will drive themselves on interstates and highways after which they'll be handed off to a professional driver who will be responsible for driving them to their final destination so there'll be a video in the link below it shows that one driver brings the trailer to the side of the highway like on the side of the highway and then this automated truck uh, backs into and connects to that trailer and drives specifically on the highway only so but a driver is still required to remain on the truck so it's like I'm, I'm in a semi now I'll take this semi get loaded drive it to the highway unhook and then I guess another driver who I guess is qualified to drive this autonomous semi backs into that and drives it over the road OTR so um, I don't know if you you know if you were gonna need new qualifications or you know how this is gonna work you guys make sure you let me know in the comments what do you think about that you know and make sure you subscribe you like what I'm saying or don't like what I'm saying but just like this channel like subscribe um, so Ike says this creates new opportunities for truck drivers so do you think that is something that uh, they're saying to kind of keep people comfortable um about this situation to keep drivers comfortable about this situation or or is this really really true because we do have you know airplanes they're auto autopilot you still need a pilot for it you know is this going to make our job more valuable or is this going to make our truck driving uh duties less valuable you know because um, I'm guessing it could save them on their, uh, I'm guessing this could save them on, you know, safety, like as far as accidents and stuff like that, but computers has its faults too. 
So if they're going to save money on accidents and things like that, will they extend the some reward to the driver? Huh? Um, Ike cites a Yale University study that predicts automation will create 140,000 local truck driving jobs by 2030. So, like I say, are these going to be quality jobs? Are these going to be 140 local driving jobs that uh, you need a certification or you don't? Um, um, ev will you still need a certification, but they're going to pay you less? I don't know. Or will this just make our driving jobs better? I have a lot of questions. I don't have a, a lot of answers for this. It's just... It's very interesting. So, um... Yeah, I I got links for the for this uh, particular article. I'm going to put it in the description box below, and then there's going to be another link with a video actually showing you how they do the side of the road drop and hook, and how they uh, take off. And kind of the video also explains, you know, uh, how the operation looks like and what the future uh, goals are for this autonomous driving truck so there you have it guys please check out those links let me know what you think about that and um is it a good thing is it a bad thing it's so hard to tell right now it's so hard to tell but uh one thing you must know be safe truckers and that you are the captain of your ship